Uh, all right. Uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna miss all you brothers, and I keep them all in my memory. You know, I keep them all in my memory. You know, and uh, now he's just added. It is to know little Sodi is to love him. If you really know him, you loved him. You know, one of the most respectful young men I've known in ages. That's real talk. Him and his brother, woo we. We could be up at the park, a bunch of, cause the G's, a lot of G's sit with the, to themselves and <laughs> hollering. And then they come up to the park, instead of going to their crowd first, they come and greet the G's respectfully and go about their business. A lot of them used to come in the park and look over there and like you don't exist. You know? But Sodi taught, so taught, them, taught them well. You know, their father taught them well. You know? And I admire him for that. You know? I admire him for that. And it's all. Before I leave, y'all. Let me say this before we before I leave. The other homie in the car with him, who was a little Capone, one love, homie. You not forgotten either. It's just that I didn't know you. I couldn't say the things I said. I said about Lil Sody about you because I didn't know you that way. We didn't, you know, I've never had any really any interaction with you. But with Lil Sody, I've had plenty of little in interaction. And I know another person who's grieving, Bo P, his uncle, William. My condolences, homie. My condolences, homie. Because I see, it's not, I'll say this again, I didn't just meet Lil Sody's family over a bowl of beans. No. I knew his grandmother on his mother's side. Rest in peace, Miss Blackwell. I know his, I know his mother personally. I know his father personally. Uh, I know his uncle personally. You know, we didn't, we didn't broke bread together. You know, it's not like, I, it's, I know him in passing, no. I didn't slip over their house, they didn't slip over mine. I didn't broke, bro we didn't broke bread together. So, uh, that's why this one's a hard one to take. He was on the apex of being that man. He's on the edge of the apex of being that man. <sighs> Cause a lot of good things were happening for him. Because matter of fact, I take that back. I talked to him about six months ago, seven months ago. Because I had told him, cause I had told him, uh, when you do the right thing, the right thing happens to, for you and to you. And, and his father got wind of it and said, yeah, he said, you right, big homie. You do the right thing, the right thing gonna happen for you or to you. And he said, I got you, huh? And they're so proud of him, man. Yeah. And because he's no longer physically here, I'm still proud of him. I'm gonna stay proud of him.
because all the problem in the past doesn't mean my problems need to stop because he's not here, no. He was a generational young man who bridged a lot of gaps for the brand in a positive way. He uh, is one of the ones that helped expand the brand. He's really, truly, truly going to be missed. I'm gonna miss you, young homie. I'm gonna miss you, man. One who epitomized when he was into it, gangsterism, that's him. That's him. You know? went through those phases and he was changing his life. I was so proud of him. I know his, I know his dad was. Man, he's gonna be truly missed. Hmm. And again, homies, before I leave, if you got a loved one and you see him turning it up and you know he has to drive home, I don't give a fuck if you got to go around the corner. Put, hey man, check this out. Here's what's up. Because all it takes is a split second. And that's a wrap. You don't have to be going from here to California or from here to New York or from here to to, to, uh, 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 to, to ten buck two, you can get in your car and go to, to the store on the corner of your house and kill yourself, or kill someone else if you're drunk, because it only takes a split second of indecision, and you blanking out or something, and bam. So man, come on, if you see you see a homie really turning it up, tell him, hey homie, before you leave, homie, why don't you uh? Get you a power nap or something, homie. You know? If, hey, you wanna go out and sit on your car and go to sleep? Yeah, come on, lock yourself in. I'll sit out and watch you, homie. But don't, but don't, but don't let them drink and drive. And with that, Remember, little soul. Homie, one love. Love you.